Good evening. Lloydminster RCMP are asking for the public's help and looking for the suspects responsible for vandalism on public property. Police say at 1.30 this morning several people were moving a bench onto the road at the entrance of Lakeland College. They also received another call of individuals drinking in the area and had torn some trees from the ground and threw them onto College Drive. RCMP add there was another report of extensive damage to the mini golf area in Bud Miller Park. Officials believe these events are related and are asking for your help in identifying those responsible. You're asked to call the Lloydminster RCMP detachment at 306-825-6350 or Crime Stoppers. The Saskatchewan provincial election is still a year and a half away, but the political scene in the area is getting ready. On Friday, Lloydminster MLA Tim McMillan was nominated for the third time as a Saskatchewan party candidate in the city. It's been an honour to serve as the MLA for the last seven years, and I look very much forward to serving for the four after the next election as well. Tim McMillan has a long list of political roles in 2012. He was appointed the minister responsible for energy resources, tourism, Saskatchewan, trade and Sask Energy Incorporated and his most current rule in remote health. But he says his best asset in the coming election is being a good MLA. Our premier says it often that the best uh, predictor of future behavior is past behavior. So in the next year and a half before the next election, I am the MLA. I have responsibilities to represent the citizens of our constituency and I will do, uh, I'll do my utmost to do the best job of that. McMillan says what the people want in the province hasn't changed much over the years. They want to see uh, positive opportunities for their young people. They want to see um, an education system that uh, accommodates their family and excels their students. Uh, they want to see a health care system that's robust. 36 candidates have been nominated so far for the next election in 2016. Dogs are wagging their tails happily as the city opened a new off-leash dog park this week. No, no. Alan Kafer, Director of Public Works, says the park is a pilot project and it's important to have a secure and safe area for people to let their dogs run. It's completely fenced. Uh, you can let your dog off his leash and uh, he can't get out of here. Uh, he can't get out into the traffic. There are a few rules to follow, including having dogs wear a visible dog license and ID tag and to make sure to pick up after your dog. Many already say they're liking the park. It's a good place. The dogs can run and play. I can tire them out so they sleep when I get back. They should have them in town. It shouldn't be something they get rid of. I think it's great because I knew there was another off-leash, but being that it's not fenced, I didn't think it was a gr like safe for the dogs, so I really think having a fenced one is a great idea. The off-leash dog park is 1.5 acres in size and is open from dawn to dusk. Now, if you would like to give feedback on the park, you can email the Community Services Department at info at lloydminster.ca. If you're hoping to catch some fish at nearby lakes or rivers in Saskatchewan, you're in luck. It's free fishing weekend today and tomorrow for Saskatchewan residents and visitors to the province. This means you don't have to buy a license. Now, the province says anyone planning to take fish out of the province must purchase a license. All other fishing regulations apply, including possession limits and reduced limits on some lakes and rivers. Free fishing weekend does not happen in national parks. Numbers confirm it's a record-breaking year for the Demolition Derby in Lloydminster. Close to 30 vehicles from many cars to trucks signed up for one purpose, to crash into each other. Annika Notvate was there this afternoon and spoke to a few of the drivers. It's Catlin Abel's first year out on the track and he's excited, ready for some fun and confident in his car that he fixed up himself. I got it down in Humboldt. 250 bucks, steal of a deal. And how does he feel about being the youngest driver? There's like really old, fragile men in here. I feel like if they can do it, I can do it. <laughs> a lot of banging and crashing. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, I don't care if I win or lose, right? I just like wrecking cars. But there are some rules. And the way that the driver is disqualified is if he hits another driver's door bar. So they want to avoid this panel at all costs. 
bad door. Don't touch that. Motorsports is kind of dying. You know, it's kids nowadays. They're they're not into that. They don't like putting the Xbox down, and it's kind of a dying thing. But you know, it's it's an adrenaline rush, and it keeps you busy, and keeps you out of trouble, and uh, you know, it's a lot of fun. It's loud. There's a lot of crashing. Everybody wishes they could do that, and not involve an accident in downtown Lloydminster. So it's a chance to kind of live out your dream. You're allowed to hit people. And so who wouldn't want to do that? The last one running in all heats competes in a final round and the winner takes home cash. It's almost a part-time job for some of these guys and they stay connected with each other and the derby community. Demo Addicts, the, the Demo Addicts group on Facebook is a good way to get in touch with build rules and, and tips and tricks and information. But for Abel, he doesn't worry about tricks. I'm just going to put pedal down to the floor and hit people. I don't really have a strategy. Anna Kanafate, New Cap News.